Bragg and Sandor Clegane, followed by Mike Gaffer with the nose band Della Castle Lunga, tracked by Fine Margin, plain blue jacket of Senior Chief. And they're followed by Free Flowing. On the outside is Eeksman, coming to flight number two before the straight in his three card brag, leading marginally. Sandor Clegane, Mike Gaffer, Della Castle Lunga, Rocco Bay in between horses, then Senior Chief, Eeksman. Free flowing and fine margin, the Nucky Johnson, Molly's Glory, and Grown Rouge, the final couple. Reaching their final two miles as they turn into flight number three. Not much between three card brag, one off the rail. Against the rail, Sandor Clegane, the red and white, followed by Mike Gaffer, Della Castle Lunga, X Man, the outside of Senior Chief, winner of his last two and then Free Flowing and Rocco Bay, Nucky Johnson, Fine Margin, Molly's Glory, Grand Rouge, Slow Jump Mid-Division Senior Chief. This is three-card brag, Adrian Heskin disputing the lead with Sandor Clegane and Sean O'Keefe. Break of a length and a half to Mike Gaffer, Liam Quinlan, Justin Third from Della Castle Lunga, and Philip Wright followed uphill to flight number four. Senior Chief and East Man and Rocco Bay next and Nucky Johnson and Free Flowing with the final three. Fine Margin, Molly's Glory and Grand Rouge. At flight number four, and it's Sandor Clegane and Three Card Bragg landing together. Then Mike Gaffer, Della Castle Lunga, followed away by Senior Chief and East Man and then Rocco Bay and Free Flowing and Nucky Johnson. Break of three lengths to Fine Margin. And then Molly's Glory, who's moved away from a ridden along Grand Rouge. The flight at the top of the hill, Sandor Clegane and Three Card Bragg, followed by Mike Gaffer, Della Castle Lunga, the white cap on the inside, followed downhill to the flight at the halfway stage, Eeks Man, then Senior Chief and Nucky Johnson and Rocco Bay the Rail, followed at this turn by Free Flowing and then Fine Margin, Molly's Glory and Grand Rouge. Very few changes in the order of running downhill to this flight at halfway three card brag matching strides with Sandor Clegane who popped it well and then Mike Gaffer Della Castle Lunga senior chief and behind the leading quartet with East Man and Nucky Johnson and Rocco Bay and Free Flowing with the back three fine margin Molly's Glory and Grand Rouge into the back straight they go with five flights left to jump nine furlongs to travel there's three card brag on the outside of Sandor Clegane, followed by Mike Gaffer, Della Castle Lunga, and then Senior Chief and Eeks Man and Rocco Bay next was Free Flowing and Nucky Johnson. Slight mistake, Rocco Bay in the blue and white. But across from the stands was four flights to jump. The two and a half mile Connolly's Red Mills out of GBF auction hurdle series final. And it continues to be Sandor Clegane and Three Card Bragg mixing it up front, followed by Mike Gaffer, Senior Chief, right on their heels with Della Castle Lunga, then Eastman, Nucky Johnson, Rocco Bay next, and then Free Flowing and Fine Margin, both ridden along Molly's Glory and Grand Rouge. Turning at the point at which they started, three flights left to jump, five furlongs to go. Still precious little in, up front between Sandor Clegane and Three Card Bragg. Length in front of Mike Gaffer disputing the third with Della Castle Lung and Senior Chief in between those two. Followed across to the third last flight by Eeks Man, who's just got a reminder. Then Free Flowing and Nucky Johnson. The third last flight, Sandor Clegane over with a definite advantage of a length three card brag. Nudge back up on terms. And they're followed by Mike Gaffer. Della Castle Lung and now shaken up Senior Chief, then Nucky Johnson. And Sandor Clegane hit that flight hard. Mike Gaffer on the outside begins a run. Three card brag is driven along in between them. Then Della Castle Lunga, Senior Chief, and Nucky Johnson. These break clear to free flowing. Sandor Clegane into the straight with a lead of a length and a half over Mike Gaffer. In third is Della Castle Lunga, then Senior Chief. Dropping away is three card brag and then Nucky Johnson. Less than two furlongs to race and one flight to jump. And kicking on in the lead is Sandor Clegane from Della Castle Lunga. And then Mike Gaffer, Senior Chief, and Nucky Johnson. And at the final flight, Sandor Clegane slowed up on the approach. Della Casalonga is within two to three lengths. And then Senior Chief and Nucky Johnson inside the final hundred yards. It's Sandor Clegane from Della Casalonga, who's trying very hard. But it's Sandor Clegane getting back to winning ways for Sean O'Keefe and Paul Nolan, beating Della Casalonga, Senior Chief. Nucky Johnson in fourth.
Well, after what happened at Cheltenham, I don't think too many would begrudge Sandro Clegane's connections. A lovely payday here. He's landed the final of the Connolly's Red Mills auction series. Always prominence under Sean O'Keefe. Totally different tactics today than those that were used at Cheltenham, but he was down in distance here, of course, in a much weaker race. And all told, Fran, maybe one anxious moment with that blunder was it two out or three out but apart from that he was well on top he was Gary yeah. bounced out had the rail three car brag there in the shot agent house went along with him uh, the writing was on the wall for him very similar road to Cheltenham in some respects he faded quite tamely though today second last uh, he stepped out of Sandra Clegane but he was travelling well he recovered well for Sean O'Keefe but just steadied up into the last a little bit of a loss of momentum when he's on top that gave a bit of hope to Della Casalunga who was stepping up and trip had a good trip around the inside also and as she did at Limerick Della Casalunga's drop jumped to her right but has kept on well there's a hint that the winner's just doing the bare minimum in front and a nice success nice compensation for the old team and just looking at him looking away his shape and I presume he's going to chase her next year what do you think? Definitely and I think he might be going up a bit as well Fran they left the red hood off in the preliminaries today that he usually wears and he was pretty professional I thought most of the way around jumped really well by that one anxious moment and 